Hey guys, we are in Mahabalipuram in India and let's take a look at some of the mysterious carvings. This is the Ganesha Ratha, a monolithic structure which was carved around 7th century AD. What do you see? It definitely looks like a rocket spacecraft with a wide cylindrical base and a sharp aerodynamic top standing erect on the temple tower. Notice the similarity of the design to our modern day rockets sent into space. Remember that these carvings were done 1200 years ago, although we know that the first rocket spacecraft was launched only in 1957. There are no temples or structures whatsoever that resemble this cylindrical carving in Mahabalipuram. However, there is a perfect cylindrical tank made out of solid granite a few hundred feet away, which would perfectly hold something like this. This huge monolithic rock has been drilled to make a perfect cylindrical hole. Was this constructed to hold and launch a rocket? At the very top of the tower, you can see a strange figure with three antennas on its head. If it were only two antennas on the side, we can easily dismiss it as a mythical figure with two horns. If you look closely, you can even see that it is a helmet. A figure like this is not described anywhere in the Hindu scriptures or in any other Hindu temples. Just to give you an example, this is a carving of a Hindu god and this is definitely not a Hindu god. It must have been a very important figure because they carved it at the very top. Could this be an extraterrestrial taking off using the rocket spacecraft? Note that there is a similar figure mounted right on top of the rocket spacecraft. If these are not ancient astronauts, what else could it be? But this is a temple carved for the Hindu god Ganesha. That's why it is called Ganesha Ratha. Why put an 8 feet elephant god statue inside the temple if this is all about ancient astronauts, right? Not really. It turns out that the statue of the Hindu god was placed inside the structure less than 50 years ago. No one knows what was originally inside. In fact, the name Ganesha Ratha itself was given shortly after putting in the idol 50 years ago. Before that time, people simply referred to this structure as the Vimana, which means an aircraft in Sanskrit. Is this just a coincidence that the structure with a spacecraft and an astronaut carved on it was called the Vimana? For further proof that this entire structure was not built for religious purposes, let's take a look into a similar chamber in another structure nearby. What's inside the chamber? Nothing. No carvings and no sign of any existence of statues installed, only a flat rock bed. What could have been inside 1200 years ago? What was the original purpose of making such extraordinary monolithic structures? If they only had managed to install a door made of solid rock or steel, they could have used it for a wide variety of activities, including scientific experiments. But what if I told you that they did have doors installed? Look at the slots carved inside the chamber. These rectangular slots inside the entrance were obviously carved for doors. So now we know that doors were used inside these structures and they must have been removed at a later time. Remember that the entire structure is made of granite which emits radon, a radioactive gas. Were these structures used for experimenting with radioactive material? This is definitely a possibility as the thick rock walls would protect and prevent others from getting hurt. If an airtight steel door was installed in the doorway, it would have been an ideal place for testing radioactive material. Let us go back to the carvings on the tower. We can see multiple faces carved within circles like vignette photographs in a museum. Why are these faces carved on the tower? 
They are definitely not depictions of Hindu gods. And these are not Indian kings either. The Indian king Narasimha Verman, who supposedly built this place, has his face carved in a sphinx nearby that shows him with a big mustache and a round nose. These faces look very different from his face. What about these two faces? The one on the right looks very much like a Caucasian face. Note how similar it is to a photograph of a European or an American. The one on the left is a side view of a face. It looks distinctly African with a larger nose and bigger lips. How is it possible that different races were carved together 1200 years ago? Was the world connected and did people work together to create this Vimana? Now think about a modern day building where you would find photographs of founders and patrons who helped to build it. Were these carvings done to give credit to the people who helped the ancient astronauts and built spacecrafts? Let's take a look at the entire monolithic structure. We can all agree that the entire Vimana has a very aerodynamic structure. Was it built as a model for an actual flying machine? After all, isn't that what a Vimana means? In fact, archaeologists agree that they do not know the actual purpose of any of the many Vimanas or Rathas in Mahabalipuram. None of these Vimanas have a primary god statue inside them. So, are all these giant monolithic Vimanas models for flying machines? What do you think? Please do let me know your opinion in the comment section whether you agree with me or not. Your thoughts are very valuable and please do subscribe for a lot more of mysterious findings. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.